So everybody, as you saw from the title of this video, Apple just launched a brand new first party app called Apple Invites. And in this video, we're gonna break it down, go through a complete walkthrough and tutorial on how to use it, and finally talk about who this application is for and why I think it's gonna be extremely beneficial for people that are into all that event management stuff. But it does come with some caveats. Let's get into it. Well, all right, everyone, let's get right into this. And like I mentioned, Apple created a brand new application called Apple Invites, and it's available right now in the App Store. If it's not showing up, I will leave a link down below because sometimes it takes about 24 hours for it to show up. And one thing to take note of is that it's only available for iPhone and iOS. You can technically download it on your iPad, but it's only gonna show the iOS version of the application, and there is no version for macOS as of right now, and this is the 1.0 version. So once you download it, you are greeted with this splash screen. So it says, welcome to Apple Invites. Tap the link you were sent to see the event details. Just got the app, continue to explore or set up your first event. You press continue. And then this is what you're greeted with. This is going to be the brand new landing page, the dashboard. This is just a screenshot, but this is gonna be a carousel of different kind of examples of what these Apple Invites can look like. And the one thing to note down here, which is gonna be very important, is that it's gonna say, create beautiful invitations for all of your events. Anyone can receive the invitations. Sending included with iCloud Plus. So if you are an iCloud Plus subscriber or user, you'll be able to use all the functionality that comes associated with the Apple Invites application. If you are not, you can still receive them. And let's find out if you need to have an iOS device. Let's say if you have an Android device, will you still be able to get these invites? We'll find out. Well, let's open up the application. This is what it looks like. And like I mentioned, this is what you're greeted with. So welcome to Apple Invites, create beautiful invitations for all of your events. Anyone can receive invitations, sending included with iCloud Plus. And you can see that there is a carousel up here that you can kind of squeeze through or look through for examples and some inspiration of what this is gonna look like. And you can see that you have real images. You also have things maybe made up from Apple intelligence and things of that nature. But let's create an event and see what this is gonna look like. So this is going to be the anatomy of your brand new event. You can add a background which again can be predetermined or you can use something from your photos or even create something from image playgrounds like I mentioned. So you have your photos, your camera, your image playgrounds, and then of course your different colors, photographic and emoji styles, which you can choose from. Let's say I wanna create maybe a New Year's party. So we'll click on this one. We'll go into the event title, type in New Year's. And you can see that this is kind of like a culmination of all the things Apple has been doing from a customization standpoint. Like this looks very friendly, very similar to the sports app and the journals app. These fonts are the same fonts that are being used in your lock screen right now. But let's step into the date and time right here. We're gonna do starts on, since this is a New Year's party, we're gonna go December 31st at 6 p.m. and it ends. It'll end whenever we want it to end, so I'm gonna press none. Include end time, we can tap that in if you want to, but I'm not gonna include an end time because it's a New Year's party, so we're gonna press done here. And then you can tap on location, and you can do a couple of things here. So you can search for location, use your current location, or even have an example of exactly what your location is gonna be like. So let's do something like, so we're gonna do Newport Center, which is a mall in my area. We're gonna press done, and that's going to be the address and the name of it. Then you're gonna see that it's gonna be hosted by Fernando Silva because I am the host that's creating this. I can add a description if I want to, but then it'll show the weather. At this time of the year, the temperature ranges from 28 to 41 degrees, which I think is awesome. Being able to integrate the weather application into this is very, very cool. Then you even have the directions as well as the Apple Maps kind of notification so you can see exactly where this is. You can create an album, so create a photo album for this event and share it with your participants. So we'll create an album, we'll name it New Year's, and that automatically creates a shared album. So let's add a couple photos in here. So you can see that I've added a couple photos in here. And as you saw, anybody who gets invited to this event will be able to add to this shared album, which is really cool to see. I'm very, I'm very happy with that idea. And then you also have an, a playlist edition. So you're able to use Apple Music to share an Apple Music playlist with participants. Now again, Apple's gonna go full head into Apple Music and they're not probably gonna allow any sort of Spotify or SoundCloud integrations. So do keep that in mind, but you can add a playlist if you want to, which I'm not gonna do right now. And then this is what you have in terms of what it looks like for an event creation. We're gonna press preview here, and then you get to see what it looks like on the other end. So if you send this invite to somebody else, you can do going, not going, maybe, hosted by Fernando Silva. At this time of year, it'll give you the weather, it'll give you some photos. As you can see down here, it has a little show that says invitation preview. This is what guests will see when you publish and invite the guests to the next steps. So after you're done, you press next on the top right hand corner, it's preparing the invitation, and then you can see exactly what this is gonna look like. So for instance, you're able to send the invite via public link, so via messages, mail, you can share the link via airdrop if you want to, and things like that. You can copy the link, 
You can add the ability to approve guests. So if you turn this on, you can send a public link for guests to RSVP. When they accept, they will appear in your guest list. That's good to know. You can invite individuals, so you can actually choose a guest. Continue. So as you can see right here, it shows up as an iCloud invite. So we're gonna tap send this through. And of course you get your notification threshold. We're gonna allow this one as well. And then you get to see the guest list as well as who has not responded. And you have some options down here like view their information, remove from event, and then also allow this person once they accept it to invite other people, which would be interesting. And then lastly on the top right hand corner, you do have some additional options. So you have the additional guests, the approved guests, remove the background preview background image description through accessibility. So you are able to add the description if you want to. You can duplicate it, cancel it, pause event, or completely delete the event as well, which is cool to see. And I know that there's a difference. Canceling event will probably allow people to know that the event was just canceled overall, and deleting it is probably a little less obvious of what's gonna happen, but you can just delete the event from here. And now if you zoom all the way out, this is what the dashboard is gonna look like when it comes to upcoming events, and it'll show if you are the one hosting it, or if you were invited to one of these events that were happening through this application. And for those people wondering, yes, you can actually invite people that are not using iOS devices. Of course, they cannot host one through the application, but you can send them a link and they can RSVP, say yes, say maybe, say no, and be included in all the different push notifications that come thereafter. And then when it comes to settings overall, there isn't really much. You just get to see your push notifications, your email updates, and then if you go into your settings, there aren't really any specific settings for the invites application. You just have your, your basic kind of accessibility settings. Media and Apple Music can be turned off or on if you want to, to create those custom playlists. Then, then you have the version number. And then, like I said, you do need to be an iCloud Plus member in order to be able to use this. So I looked into my iCloud dashboard, and if I scroll down, because I do use iCloud Plus, it doesn't really show up anywhere on here. So just do keep that in mind. I use Apple One Premiere in order to get iCloud Plus and get all the stuff that comes with it. But if you pay for any additional iCloud storage, you are an iCloud Plus member, so you don't need to shell out that much money in order to use something like the Invites app. But that is the complete walkthrough, the complete hands-on. Let me know with a comment down below what you think. I think it's a gorgeous application, but let's finish up this video and see exactly what's coming next. So that about wraps it up with our hands-on time with the Apple Invites application. As I mentioned, this is available right now to download whether you are an iCloud Plus member or not. And like I mentioned, you do need to be an iCloud Plus member or subscriber in order to get the full functionality of actually creating events and things of that nature. But overall, I like the application. I like the idea. It will cannibalize a lot of third-party applications in the App Store that already do this. But again, if Apple can control the full stack, I think it will be a lot easier and more beneficial for the end user at the end of the day because you can manage it all from your iCloud. And I do think that, again, this is going to be the bare bones version. This is version literally 1.0. It just released. So definitely be on the lookout for Apple to release new iterations, very similar to what they did with the Journals application, where the first one was just very bare bones and straight to the point, and version 2.0 was a little bit more robust in terms of the feature sets, what you're able to do, and also what you were able to analyze after the fact, which I do think events will be able to do, especially maybe even from a transactional standpoint with tap to pay and being able to pay across all your devices. A lot can be said about what can be done on the new Apple Invites application, but again, it remains yet to be seen. But let me know in the comment down below what you think. Are you an iCloud Plus subscriber already? Are you going to be using this more frequently? Are you excited about this? Do you not really care about it? Do you think it's just another application that's going to go into your app drawer and never be used? Let me know the comment down below. And if you made it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. And finally, if you want to watch more videos like this one, definitely check out one of these videos right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of everybody. Peace.